Hi guys, welcome to ASA Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix Windows 11 stuff on the restarting screen. First of all, this is a requested video. Some Windows 11 users are reporting that Windows stuck on the restarting screen during restart. Basically, this can occur. Number 1. This problem typically occurs after a new Windows update is installed. Number 2. System file corruption that affects your OS files can also be responsible for this particular issue. Number 3. This can occur due to some kind of third-party interference that is preventing your Windows 11 PC from finishing up with a recently installed feature update. Number 4. Sometimes an internal or an external connected computer peripherals can causing this issue. Number 5. This can occur due to some type of inconsistency that affects boot related data and prompts your PC to be stuck on the restarting screen. Number 6. This can occur due to modifying or changing the system files. And number 7. Due to bad sectors on a hard disk and when the lifespan of your hard disk is about to end. However, don't worry. Here I'll show you 5 fixes that can surely help to fix Windows 11 stuck on the restarting screen problem. So, let's get started. As you can see, Windows stuck on the restarting screen during restart. If this situation applies after the incorrect installation of Windows feature update, then you can resolve this problem by performing force shutdown or a power cycling process. If you are facing this issue on a laptop, just press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds to force shut down and this should only be used in emergency. Now disconnect the AC power adapter cable from laptop's electrical outlet. After that, take out the battery and leave your laptop without a battery for few minutes. If your laptop's battery is inside your laptop, then find a battery ejector small pinhole at the bottom side of your laptop. Once you found, insert a paper clip into the battery ejector small pinhole and gently press for 10 seconds to eject the battery. Now, leave your laptop for few minutes. If you are facing this issue on a desktop computer, then you need to force shut down by pressing and hold down the power button until the power gets interrupted. Once done, unplug the power cord or wait for few minutes or more in order to drain all residual power from the system. Once you have successfully done this procedure, then reattach the AC power adapter cable. After that, just put your Windows 11 PC normally and check to see if the problem is solved or not. If not solved, then at first, shut down your computer by following previous method. After that, hit the power button to turn your PC back on and be ready to press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard and don't release the shift key until the user visuals to appears. Now log into your account. After that, run command prompt as administrator. Now type the command sfc space for slash scan now and press enter. This sfc command will help to address the most frequent causes of system file corruption. Keep patience until the scanning process is completed.
Okay, as you can see, system checker did not found any integrity violation. If your system checker found any integrity violation, then type dism.exe space for slash online space for slash cleanup hyphen image space for slash restore health and press enter to run this command and keep patience until the process is finishes. Once done, close the terminal and restart your device to see if the problem is solved or not. Before moving forward, you should definitely follow this third method because sometimes an internal or an external connected computer peripherals like USB device, printer, card reader, Wi-Fi adapter, HDD or SSD, HDMI cable including an Ethernet cable can cause this issue. So disconnect your connected computer peripherals from your PC to check if the problem is solved or not. If not solved, then turn on your computer and begin continually pressing F8 key on the keyboard to enter in Windows recovery environment. Now click on troubleshoot, click on advanced option and click on startup repair. The startup repair tool can automatically fix many common problems like if your computer is stuck on restarting screen. If you are lucky, then this simple procedure may help to fix the problem. If not solved, then click on advanced option. Now click on troubleshoot menu. Select advanced option. Now click on startup settings and click on restart button. Now press 5 or F5 key to choose safe mode with networking from the advanced boot option menu and make sure your computer is connected with the internet. Now log in to your account. Now all you have to do is figure out which program is causing this issue. You can start by uninstalling a suspected programs, device drivers or a feature update that got installed right after you started to experience this issue. Ok, go to control panel and open program and features. Now click on view install updates. Ok, if you think this problem is occur after installing a new windows update then you can uninstall that update from here. After successfully uninstalling the suspected program, device driver or feature update just reboot once. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved, then go to Windows recovery environment by following previous method. And also you can perform this repair by using a Windows recovery media or a Windows bootable USB drive. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now click on troubleshoot, then advanced option. After that, click on system restore. Click on next button. 
node. Windows every time creates a system restore point when Windows install an update device driver or an application. So you can easily use that system restore point to restore your Windows settings to previous status. But note, this solution is not effective if the Windows system protection is turned off and if you are not created a system restore point before. Well, let's take a closer look at the procedure. Just select your recently created system restore point and click on next button. After that, click on finish. Now click on yes to continue the restore process. Please keep patience until the restore process is finishes. After that, restart your computer to see if the problem is solved or not. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.